Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today I'm testing out the Revel DIY Electric Skateboard Kit. This is probably the easiest to install DIY electric skateboard kit I've ever used. Let's check it out. Easy to install is probably an understatement. The entire kit is housed in a single piece consisting of the trucks, motors, wheels, and removable battery. It all gets bolted onto your deck and the entire process couldn't be easier. You can mount the kit on just about any skateboard or longboard deck you'd like. I'm using a loaded fat tail deck here, but you can go nuts with just about any style of deck you can imagine. The big differentiator between the Revel kit and others is the removable battery pack and the direct drive motors. The direct drive motors mean you get the best of both belt drive and hub motor kits without the downfalls of each. Because the wheels bolt onto the face of the motor, you can use standard longboard wheels instead of being limited to those thinner sleeves that fit over hub motors. That will result in a better ride overall, and you also don't have to worry about belt tension or alignment issues that you would normally have to deal with on a belt drive setup. So the direct drive setup is a nice compromise between belt drive and hub motor boards. In terms of specs, each of these motors is rated for 1100 watts of peak power, making this a 2.2 kilowatt board. Not bad for a $599 kit, but you can also grab a second kit and add it to the front of the board and end up with an all-wheel drive 4.4 kilowatt board. The remote is able to pair with both kits, so you end up with a fully functional four-wheel drive kit. That might be overkill for some, but it would turn this thing into a serious hill climber or a nice off-road board if you swap on some off-road wheels. As it is, the kit is plenty powerful with just the two motors, I don't have any huge hills around here, but it climbs smaller hills just fine. When it comes to batteries, you get the choice of either a 144 watt hour or 216 watt hour pack that can give you between 8 to 14 miles or about 13 to 23 kilometers of range, depending on the pack and how hard you ride. If you spend a lot of time near the board's top speed of 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour, that range will drop a bit. I averaged around 20 miles an hour, or about 32 kilometers per hour, and I still got the board's rated range. The ride quality of the board feels excellent in the way I have it set up, but this is largely dependent on the components you choose to add to the kit, since the kit makes these boards so customizable. In my case, I'm using a loaded deck with Flex Level 2, and I've got the 90mm 74A Hardness Revel wheels that come with the kit. Between the high quality deck and those large wheels, Rolling over these bricks and stones is no problem. Of course, when you get out on the street, the ride improves even more, but I still find the ride quality to be quite good even on rougher surfaces, which is the real test of a board anyways. The one area of the kit that I wasn't super excited about at first was the controller, which uses a linear slide switch for the throttle instead of a thumb wheel. Pretty much every board I normally ride has a thumb wheel throttle, and so this took a bit of getting used to for me. But by the end of my first ride, I was really starting to like this throttle style. It makes it easy to fine-tune the adjustments and modulate your acceleration or deceleration, and the style grew on me throughout the ride. If I had to choose, I'd probably still prefer a thumb wheel, mostly because it's just more standard and I've gotten used to it over the years. But the Rebel Remote still works great, and it became comfortable to me quicker than I expected it would. All in all, I'd say that I'm quite pleased with the Rebel Kit. For just $599, it helps you build a powerful electric skateboard without you needing to be too handy, and it offers a huge amount of customization in terms of wheels and decks. That sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me, but we can sweeten it a little bit more. Revel has kindly agreed to offer a discount code to Electrex readers and viewers, so if you want to grab your own board, make sure you enter the code ELECTREK30 at checkout so you can take a cool $30 off the price. Thanks for watching everyone, we hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you next time.